Health has granted two northeastern Pennsylvania companies with permits to grow and process marijuana for medical use. That story and more on WYLN News. From the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. The Pennsylvania Department of Health today granted two northeastern Pennsylvania companies permits to grow and process marijuana for medical use. The department announced that Pennsylvania Medical Solutions LLC in Scranton and Standard Farms LLC in Whitehaven are two of the 12 companies statewide to receive the permits. About 180 applicants statewide applied for the permits, including almost 30 companies from within just the northeastern region. Van Holken Greenhouses Incorporated in McAdoo was one of the several northeastern companies that was not granted a permit. WILN spoke with company representative Alexander Van Hoekland today, who says the company's scorecard shows results that are not far behind the companies that were granted permits. Van Hoekland says the loss is, quote, okay, and the company is currently reviewing its scores and looking into what it could have done better. Those who receive the permits must now ramp up their operations and inspections will be done before locations are certified as operational. The program is fully expected to be fully implemented in 2018. A Hazleton woman was charged with making false statements in the purchase of six firearms. 25-year-old Jasmine Wing falsely represented that she was the actual buyer of six guns from Bob's Sporting Goods in Hazleton and Dave's Gunship in Drums between September 2014 and April 2015. The guns purchased included Glocks and a semi-automatic firearm. As part of her plea agreement, she stated that she transferred the guns to a person that was prohibited from possessing them. The matter was investigated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. We now know the name of the man killed in a logging accident in Sugarloaf Township yesterday. Investigators say 84-year-old William Berger was killed when a tree he was cutting split and fell on him. The man, described as an experienced logger, was working at the scene with his son when the accident occurred. Rescuers say where it happened was way back in the woods in Sugarloaf Township, and the heavy downpours made access roads very muddy. The cause of that fire at the Passion Lounge on Scott Street in Wilkesbury last night has been ruled, or last week rather, has been ruled accidental. Officials say the fire was caused by a probable electric failure. Investigators say the blaze started above the bar area. No injuries were reported. The bar was closed at the time. Still no word on when it may reopen. A Wapwallopin woman was arraigned on a long list of charges over the weekend, all in connection with a high-speed chase earlier this month. Rice Township Police say they attempted to pull over Kelly Rhodes on Church Road for an expired registration on June 12th. She took off, causing several vehicles to swerve in order to get out of her way. Officers say a female passenger in the vehicle was ejected on Stairville Road while Rhodes continued to flee police. When the woman regained consciousness, she identified Rhodes as the driver. There's no word on her condition at this time. Rhodes remains free on bail. The death of the husband of the treasurer in Schuylkill County remains under investigation. The Schuylkill County deputy coroner confirming that the body of 60-year-old Gary Marchalk was found in the home that he shared with his wife Linda in Ryan Township on Monday morning. He was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy has been scheduled. A man who was involved in a rock-throwing incident in Union County back in 2014 pled guilty to another charge. Bert Lahr was paroled from prison for his role in the incident that severely injured a woman from Ohio after a rock was thrown through the windshield of the vehicle she was riding in along Interstate 80 in Union County. 
A year later, Lahr was involved in a car crash in Dauphin County in December. He pled guilty to DUI last week. He was sentenced to a month's house arrest and six months probation. A former Mohegan Sun vice president was sentenced June 16th in federal court Wilkes-Barre. 51-year-old Robert Pellegrini of Mountaintop pled guilty to a money laundering conspiracy in December of 2016. Prosecutors say he conspired with 39-year-old Rochelle Plisnesny and 52-year-old Mark Helsel to defraud the Mohegan Sun Casino by engaging in a scheme involving the use of stolen names and personal identification numbers. Pellegrini was sentenced to serve 32 months in prison and ordered to pay restitution in the amount of over $420,000. Sentencing dates for his accomplices are pending. Speaking of Mohegan Sun Pocono, some things there will be changing. President and CEO Tony Carlucci says the casino in Plains Township will not have their own fireworks display this 4th of July. Instead, the casino says they will contribute money to the city of Wilkes-Barre's display at Kirby Park on the 4th. Other events also being reevaluated could include Oktoberfest, which will not be held this year, but could return in a different format in the future. And if you're a frequent user of valet parking at Mohegan Sun Pocono, you'll start paying for the service July 5th. No rates higher than $6. Giant and Martins are recalling two products from the shelves due to possible contamination. Certain animal oil products are recalled due to possible potential pathogens in the products. The items included in the recall are on your screen right now. Also, a limited number of Lantana white bean hummus products are being removed due to the potential to be contaminated with listeria. If you have if you purchased any of the products, you're asked to discard any unused portions and return to the store for a full refund. You can also contact Giant and Martin's customer service at 1-888-814-4268. Coming up on WYLN News, rebates are coming, plus another fiscal plan in place. But first, as we head out to break, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast from the WYLN Weather Center. Remember, you can get all your weather information at WYLNTV.com. We'll be right back. Whether you're a homeowner renovating your first kitchen or a professional contractor remodeling your 100th kitchen, we're here to work with you every step of the way. We feature Homecrest and Omega cabinets, bathrooms and entertainment cabinets, along with solid surface countertops for Mica and Wilson Art products. We offer affordable installation. All this and more at Morris Kitchens LLC. Appointments welcome. Call 570-825-6956. Do you have a bridal shower, baby shower, birthday party, rehearsal dinner, or some other important event coming up? Call us at Booty's Place to book our elegant, private upstairs dining room. It offers a seating capacity of up to 50 people, a private bar, and an elevator for easy access. Or you can book the entire upstairs for an even larger event. Contact Chef Bobby DeFeo for pricing and delicious customized menu options. 570-455-5551. Let us help make your special day a big success. Booty's Place, definitely the best. Pennsylvania Treasurer Joe Torcella announcing today the Treasury is expected to process 590,000 property tax rent rebate payments. 
property tax rent rebate payments provide almost $191 million in relief to low-income seniors and individuals with disabilities across the state. If you applied for relief, the Treasury will be mailing paper checks out on July 3rd. The remaining will be processed electronically through direct deposit. Applicants can confirm the status of their rebate applications and receive the rebate amount online or by calling 1-888-PA-TAXES. Wilkesboro City Council voting to accept a fiscal plan at Monday night's meeting. PFM Group Consulting recommended that the city negotiate deals with two unions whose contracts expire this year. PFM also advised working on a better trash collection deal and considering an increase in the earned income tax for residents. Pensions and benefits for new hires also need to be changed. Council voted last month to borrow around $53 million to restructure the city's long-term debt. Next year's deficit is expected to be around $5 million. Coming up on Nescapec Pass's News Choice, a preview of Eckley Patchtown Days. Plus, the U.S. Post Office has issued a very cool stamp to mark the lunar eclipse coming in August. And by the way, summer arrives tomorrow, 1224 a.m. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Visit the Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau at visitluzernecounty.com for the listings of the many events you'll find in Luzerne County. From wine festivals to hill climbs to the famous tomato and kielbasa festivals, you'll find it all in Luzerne County. Luzerne County was named the best outdoors destination in Pennsylvania by the official Best in Pennsylvania website. The Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau will help you relax, relive history, and marvel at the area's stunning natural beauty. You'll find it right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. talk about the annual Patch Town Days, but this year is a little bit of a twist to it. We're going to celebrate Patch Town Days with an Irish festival out at Eckley Miners Village, and Morgan's joining me, and I'm going to talk to you first, Morgan. Uh, this is an annual event, June 24th and 25th, a lot going on, so give us the who, what, when, where, why, and why we should come out and, and celebrate Patch Town Days. Well, as always, we have various plays and activities and musical entertainment this year with kind of an Irish twist. However, in addition, we also have some other fun things that we've been working on. We're going to have carriage rides. We're going to have a St. Patrick's Day parade in um, on Saturday. And there's going to be a beer tent also on Saturday that runs till 7. So it extends past the time of the rest of the event a little bit. What's an Irish festival without uh, some Irish refreshments, right? Right, <laughs> yes. And there's going to be Irish-themed food as well. Wonderful. Yeah. 
So this all goes on, and, and I know Patchtown Days has been something going on for a little bit. So how come this year looking at an Irish theme? Well, starting last year, we decided that we wanted to revamp our Patchtown Festival a little bit. And we decided we were going to focus on a different culture represented at Eccle every year. So last year we did a Slavic fest. This year is an Irish fest um, to kind of you know, show support to those Irish immigrants that came in to Eccle. Um, next year we're thinking maybe German or Italian. Wonderful. And it's always a great day. So for somebody who may not have been to Patch Town Days, uh, tell them, you know, why it's so so fun to come out to to it. And it's really, really step back in time. You're not you're, you're not just talking about it. You really, it looks like you, you step back right. in time. Yeah, so what happens is our buildings throughout the village are entirely open. Mm -hmm. And we have them um, staffed with various volunteers and many of those volunteers are in costume. So it is really like stepping back into history. And those costume volunteers can tell our public a little bit about um, the buildings and the village themselves. So. Wonderful. And one of those volunteers, uh, Mr. Cobb, and you uh, you get to have a fun part of it because uh, we're going to do a little baseball. That's right. So uh, talk about the, the baseball games that will be going on. And I have to ask, are there going to be uniforms from like way back when? Uh, that's right. They... Uh, uh, these are these guys are play play vintage baseball. They play baseball from about when when baseball started about the same time Eckley started. Mm -hmm. Eckley started 1854. Baseball started about the same time, and uh, they play by 1860s rules, uh, different rules than what we see to see today. So so when a lot of the things you will be seeing will be say scratching our heads saying what the heck's going on because. If a, if a ball hits it on one bounce, they catch the ball that the guy is out just like a fly ball. Uh, if he can't overrun first base, there's a lot of other different things. They don't, they don't have gloves. They don't, don't wear any gloves. And so it's barehanded baseball. Uh, I'm a big baseball fan, a big Eckley fan, and I thought it would be great to, to tie the two together this year. Uh, along with the beer tent, what else is the other thing that, that goes along with, with, with baseball? Uh, but they, uh, we're going to have... Two, three different teams that are going to be there. Uh, two teams on Saturday and two teams on Sunday. The uh, a team from Harrisburg, the Keystone Baseball Club of of Harrisburg, is mm -hmm. going to be there both days. Uh, a club from down in Westchester, uh, Brandywine Westchester Baseball Club, and on uh, on Sunday, uh, a team from New Jersey, Flemington, New Jersey. Uh, they call themselves the Nishanuk mm -hmm. uh, Baseball Club. And they're going to be there on on set on Sunday. And on Sunday before the games, uh, uh, Brad Brooklyn Shaw, the uh, president of the Vintage Baseball Association, is a member of the Nishanuk team, and he's going to be reciting uh, Casey at the bat as, as part of as part of the festivities. And so, uh, we're going to be playing games on both Saturday, like I said, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday at 11 and 3, before and after the parade, and on Sunday 11 and, and 2. And so, uh, looking forward to, to having, having a great time. Wonderful, and uh, that would be something to see. Uh, and, and it's always a great event. And you know, you said you're a baseball fan. You, you love some history. Uh, so for you to be part of this, you know, what, what is it like? Oh, that's that's right. It's 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 I, I say something that we hope that we could do every year because it's it's the two teams, two things tie together real real close. Baseball actually got all of its rules during the Civil War, and so that this is the, the kind of things that we're looking forward to seeing. I've never seen a game in person. I've seen a lot of, of, of uh, video. I've read a lot about it, but I've never seen a vintage baseball game in person, so I'm looking forward to that. So it, it's bringing back the old stick ball that they would probably play in the middle of Eckley. It would, it would have been town ball. You know, <laughs> town ball was, was something that, that they played in all of, all of the patches, mm -hmm. uh, every, every patch had a team. I believe that... Uh, that Eckley always had a good team. I think uh, they were called the Reds back in, in, in the day. And so I think that uh, they, I don't think they were the best team, but, <laughs> but we'll say that they were, okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, for, for this we will. And, and it's a great event. Uh, and Morgan, if somebody wants to come out and take part in any festivities that are going on, um, is there a, an entrance fee? Is there a parking fee? What goes on? Yeah, so we don't have a parking fee, um, but it is $10 for adults and $6 for children. We're still looking for parade participants, so if anybody wants to participate in that way, you do get free admission to the event if you take part in the parade. Wonderful. All right, so a lot, we're, we're a lot going on. WL and 
WLN will have a, a float in the parade. So, <laughs> I don't think they had TV back then. No, but uh, but <laughs> they could they could they could pretend like it. Yeah. But uh, it, it could be vintage TV. It's vintage TV. But uh, also, if anybody wants to play in a in the in the game, if they want to bring a pair of spikes and and participate in the game, we'll try to get them in in one of the games. So, right, wonderful. Uh, it's but it's it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun, and and people ought to come out. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And for more information on it, uh, if you want to take part in it, you want to volunteer for the day, maybe in the parade or in the baseball game, you can call them at 636-2070 and get you all the information. And, of course, uh, stop by and enjoy it uh, June 24th and 25th out at Eckley Miners Village out there in Eckley uh, between Freeland and Drifton. I always have people say it was Eckley. It's between Drifton and Freeland, then you really confuse them even more. <laughs> Thank Thanks. <you. laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Community and you, everyone. We'll see you next time. Whether you're a homeowner renovating your first kitchen or a professional contractor remodeling your 100th kitchen, we're here to work with you every step of the way. We feature Homecrest and Omega cabinets, bathrooms and entertainment cabinets, along with solid surface countertops for Mica and Wilson Art products. We offer affordable installation. All this and more at Morris Kitchens LLC. Appointments welcome. Call 570-825-6956. Do you have a bridal shower, baby shower, birthday party, rehearsal dinner, or some other important event coming up? Call us at Booty's Place to book our elegant, private upstairs dining room. It offers a seating capacity of up to 50 people, a private bar, and an elevator for easy access. Or you can book the entire upstairs for an even larger event. Contact Chef Bobby DeFeo for pricing and delicious customized menu options. 570-455-5551. Let us help make your special day a big success. Booty's Place, definitely the best. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. If you are suffering from aches and pains from tending your lawn and gardens, listen up. One local chiropractor has some healthy tips to follow, and our Julie Stefanovich has the details. As the seasons change, so do our outdoor duties. If we don't find ourselves shoveling snow, we're out cutting grass and tending to our gardens. Just as we should remember to keep our backs and joints healthy during winter time, the same applies to the summer season as I recently found out while mowing my lawn. One good strain and I was off to see Dr. Stacy Sando at Dakin Heart Chiropractic in Hazleton where she gave myself and others advice on keeping healthy. I usually tell my patients if they're going to be doing yard work, number one, you want to stay well hydrated, especially with the heat. We tend to not drink enough before we go out and we tend to be out there for three or four hours and we don't drink at all while we're out there. So most importantly, stay hydrated. It's going to cause or help you prevent injury when you're out working in the heat. Secondly, it's always good to stretch and make sure to take a break every half an hour or 45 minutes. Patients come through the office with all different types of injuries that occur while working outdoors. Usually patients will come in with their weekend warrior issues like low back pain, sciatic, um, shoulder strains. Usually happens from overdoing it in the yard. If you're suffering from back pain or other strains, the best advice is to see your chiropractor. Chiropractors are the number one treatment for low back pain. I'm, it's been researched over and over again, time and time again, that if you have low back pain or if you have an injury, you can see your chiropractor and they can diagnose and correct any types of sprain strains, um, subluxations that occur with that. You can contact Dr. Stacy Sando or Dr. John Dagenhart at their office at 1749 East Broad Street by calling 570-454-2474. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. A big event, a big eclipse is coming our way in August, and the United States Post Office has issued a first-of-a-kind stamp to commemorate this big event. The eclipse stamp was released today. It transforms from an image of the eclipse to the moon with just a touch of your finger. How cool is that? The back of the stamp pane shows the eclipse path from Oregon to South Carolina. 
That eclipse will cross more than 1,100 cities nationwide. And all you have to do is stop by your local post office to pick up one of those brand new stamps today. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Visit the Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau at visitluzernecounty.com for the listings of the many events you'll find in Luzerne County. From wine festivals to hill climbs to the famous tomato and kielbasa festivals, you'll find it all in Luzerne County. Luzerne County was named the best outdoors destination in Pennsylvania by the official Best in Pennsylvania website. The Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau will help you relax, relive history, and marvel at the area's stunning natural beauty. You'll find it right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You know all about Dr. John and the services that he offers, but did you know his wife, Janet, manages a whole other side of their business? They help out CDL drivers with their testing and also big companies with drug and alcohol testing. It's a whole other side of Dagenhart Chiropractic this week. Join us. WYLNCA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, PA, during normal business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Hey neighbor, we're having a backyard sale. 2017 Mazda 3 Sport, buy it for $16,919 or lease it for $129 a month. Or this 2017 Mazda 6 Sport, lease it for only $159 a month. Or the all new 2017 Mazda CX-5 Sport, lease it for only $179 a month. At Burger Mazda, Route 93 Hazel Township. Burger family dealerships, drive with experience. 